In this tutorial video, you will learn how to set up the WeldEye for Welding Production Analysis software. To connect the WeldEye smart readers to a Wi-Fi network, please follow the next steps. In order for your devices to collect data to the WeldEye system, they all have to be connected to a network. To connect them, you need to create a network configuration for all of the devices. If you use the system with Kimpy's X8 MIG welder, the network configuration can be done directly from the control pad. Note that internet connectivity requirements vary depending on the equipment. Check your equipment manual for further details. To create a network configuration, log in to your WeldI account with a web browser. Then go to the main menu, choose Administration, Wi-Fi Configurations, and then Create New. Fill in all the information in the form according to your network specs. Note that in this form, configuration name is the name you want to give to this configuration file, and SSID is the name of the existing Wi-Fi network you want to connect your devices to. When you are ready and click Save, the configuration you just created appears in the configuration listing. You can download it by choosing the configuration from the list and selecting Download in the Action menu. After downloading the configuration file, you can copy or move it to a USB flash drive simply by dragging and dropping the configuration to it. Smart Reader provides the internet connectivity and user interface for identification purposes. In order to install the configuration, connect the reader to your welding machine. Open the Smart Reader's backplate and connect the USB flash drive with the configuration file to the reader. Wait up to 30 seconds until the admin page appears on the reader's screen. Then click the reader's center button. Wait until the green Wi-Fi symbol appears on the screen. That symbol indicates the reader is now connected. Giving your welding machines unique and recognizable names is needed for you to identify your equipment. In order to name your equipment, go to the main menu and choose Administration, and then Fleet. All the equipment in your welding fleet appears on the Welding Machines tab as soon as your connected devices are online and being used for welding. Default equipment names are generated automatically when you connect new welding machines to WeldEye. It's recommended to rename all your welding machines so that you can differentiate between them. Start renaming by choosing the equipment from the list on the Welding Machines tab. A device information box appears next to the list. Click the pencil icon on the box to modify the device information. In addition to a unique machine name, you can name a group this machine belongs to. Remember to save the changes by clicking the OK icon. To add a new welder to the system, choose Personnel from the main menu and click Add New Person. Fill in the welder information in the Personnel file form when you create an individual personnel ID for the welder, the system automatically forms a barcode or a QR code for identification. All the welders saved in the system will appear as a list on the personnel main page. To upload a factory layout, go to the main menu and choose Reports. From the Report view, choose the Production Layout tab. Then, click the orange plus icon to add a new empty floor. To upload a new layout, first click the Edit button, then the Upload Floor Plan button. Choose the plan image file from your computer's finder and click Open or Choose. The image starts to upload. When you can see the uploaded image, click the Save button. Now you can start to add equipment to the floor plan.